So I extracted this 200 gigabyte image to my SSD drive plugged into my Nvidia Shield Pro. Once I did that, I installed a few applications, did a few tweaks, and Hyperspin is ready to go. Now, what is Hyperspin? Let's open that up. Hyperspin. This is Hyperspin, guys, and yes, believe the hype. So when it starts, you get to see all of the systems that this currently supports. So we have Master System, we have Genesis, and as we can see guys, each of the system has really nice artwork. We get to see a video of one of the games that it has. Here we have Dreamcast. And the key thing here guys, this is not all just about nice looking and artwork. When I go into one of these, let's go into Dreamcast. We now have the best of the best games for that particular system. So as you know, when you do download ROMs online, most of them are just filled with thousands and thousands of games, which you're probably never going to play. But what somebody's done here is they've got the best of the best games for each of these systems and compiled all of that into a single image, guys. And here we can just see, you know, each of these games, you get to see the cover, you get to see the disc artwork. And let's back out of this. So we have the NES, we have the SNES, we have the N64, we have the GameCube, Game Boy, and we have got Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Master System, a bit of Alex Kidd there, Genesis, or Mega Drive as we had in the UK. Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, Game Gear, PlayStation, PSP, Atari Lynx. We even got Android gaming. So as we know with the Nvidia Shield, it supports GeForce now. So through the single interface, I can now play one of those games. And then we have the Arcade Mame, the Golden Era, the Naughties, the Fighters, the beat em ups, the shoot em ups, the running gun, the maze games, the platforms, the shooters, <laughs> the driving, the sports, the puzzle. And we're back to the start, guys. So, what an amazing list of consoles and systems packed full of the best of the best games that we can enjoy on our Nvidia Shield Pro. Let's just try one of these. So, this is Soul Calibur. And I'm doing everything with the standard NVIDIA Shield uh, Pro Remote Control. Okay, let's click on Start. And uh, let's go for this guy here. Okay, so here we are now emulating the GameCube on my NVIDIA Shield Pro. And just how nice does that look, guys? I don't even got a win. Take that. Uh. All right, let's skip that. So when you want to quit, I can press this here. Click on Exit. And we're back inside Hyperspin and I can now go through all of these other systems and play any of these games. I mean the content in here is just phenomenal guys. Um, let me just take you through each of these systems. Okay, so let's start with uh, Arcade Mame. Let's go into that. In fact, what I'll do, I'll do one game from each of these systems. And we can see guys, for every game you get to see a small video clip, you get to see the artwork. All right, let's go for a bit of Metal Slug. And uh, let's go for Metal Slug 4. Actually, let's go for 5. In fact, let's go for X. <laughs> let's go for Metal Slug X. Let's click on that. I mean, this truly does turn your NVIDIA Shield into a complete retro gaming station. And let's add a coin. Okay, let's press Start. All right, let's go in. All right, so let's move around. Let's throw some grenades. Take these guys out. Okay, got a better gun. That's no, really easy. <laughs> now let's take out the chopper. Let's free that guy, and that's working amazingly well, guys. And let's back out a bit. Let's go for this one. And again, we can just see, guys, every game has the really nice artwork. You get to see the video clip of the game. And again, the games are just uh, 
the best of the best. I don't know how many times I've said that now, but you get the point. All right, let's go for Contra. And in my testing, the Shield has no issues emulating uh, Dreamcast or, or even GameCube games, as I will show you in just a second. All right, so here we are. Uh, take that. You down there. Oh, not good. I'll take that. Let's get that power up. All right, looking good. Just going for a swim. Just in the interest of time, I'm only going to play each game for just a couple of seconds, just so you can see some of the artwork and just see how the systems perform. Okay, so that was that one. Let's go to the super version and let's go for um, just so many games in here. Let's go for Mega Man. I wonder how many of my viewers actually had uh, the original Nintendo NES or even the Super Nintendo. Do leave me a comment below if you did have one of those consoles and what your favorite game for that particular uh, system was. All right, so here is Mega Man, about to do its thing. Take that. Uh. I mean, imagine you showed a, a kid from the 80s or the 90s that I can now play nearly 4,000 different games from, I think, nearly 20 different console systems, all from this one device, the Nvidia Shield. I mean, probably the head will just uh, fall off. It's just, uh, it's just too amazing. Okay, so then we have the 64 version. Let's do some racing. All right, so can TDUK drive? Uh, clearly not that well. All right, looking good. Uh, let me just see if I can overtake one more person. And no, I can't. All right, let's quit out of that. Okay, let's go for GameCube. Let's go into that. Let's go for a football game, or you guys may call it soccer. All right, looking good. Here's that pass, pass, and shoot. Oh, that was a bit high, I think. Let's pass again. Which one is shoot? This one, this one. Oof, rocket. <laughs> and that's what you call a great goal by Mario. All right, let's just do one more just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. And tackle. Nice save. Oh, great save. Dribbling down, going through the middle, going for that shot. What a great shot. Or maybe this game's on easy mode, but what a great goal. Uh, take that. Okay, that's GameCube. Let's quit out of that. And let's do Master System. Let's do a bit of Mickey Mouse. Okay, so this is Mickey Mouse. Oh, nearly fell off. Looking good. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> All right, close to Sega Saturn. This had some amazing games back in the day. You got Virtual Fighter, Virtual Fighter 2. You got Duke Nukem, Panzer. Yeah, we got Panzer Dragoon, so let's go for that. And this was just an amazing game in its time. So you're flying on this dragon and you can uh, shoot at things and if you hold down the the fire button it actually locks into a target and uh, let's see if i can find something to kill uh, okay over there yeah so if i highlight those yep see that kind of locks in then just fires at them this really was a uh, well ahead of its time all right take that you up there let's lock in and shoot let's lock in some more So that's the Sega Saturn being emulated on my NVIDIA Shield. And of course, most of these games, um, especially the ones which are running via their own uh, emulators, I mean outside RetroArch, they have their own inbuilt menu. So for example, for Sega Saturn, if I uh, press the back button, we can see now, for example, I can save the state, I can load the state, I can add some cheat codes if I know any, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's back out of this. Okay, let's lastly do Dreamcast. Okay, let's go with this guy. Okay, let's block. Take my kick. Kick to the face. All right. There you go. There you go. Take that, take that, take that. He's still taking it. 
Okay, so how do we get this amazing image onto our NVIDIA Shield? Well, as I mentioned at the start of the video, guys, this is a 200 gig image, and the person that made it is a guy called Bandit. Now, if you go onto my website and go to the tutorial section, I have created a new tutorial on how you can get Hyperspin working using this uh, image. And this is just a small intro from him saying that it's an amazing collection. Uh, he's focused on the best of the best games. Um, and here it tells you the actual systems that it comes with. So we can see all of the content here and how many games you get with each of these uh, systems. So here, for example, you can see uh, GameCube gets 34, this gets 88, um, Dreamcast gets 25, and so on and so forth. And here is the direct link to the image. Now, if I click on that, and this will then take you to the Arcade Punks website. So this is a great resource for all things retro, for retro images, for retro gaming on your Raspberry Pi and all that good stuff. Now if you scroll down and here we actually have a video from Bandit where he goes through some of the install steps. So you can follow that process there or scroll down. And he also has the steps written here, guys. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to download that large image. And when you do download it, this is what it looks like. So it contains a bunch of RAW files. These are zip files created with WinRAR and each file is one gig in size. Now, if you extract the first one, that will basically expand all of the contents and you need to expand the contents into a folder called Hyperspin and you place that folder on the root of your USB drive or your flash drive or wherever you want to run this from. So this is exactly what my USB drive looks like. So this is the root here and here we can see we've got the Hyperspin folder and inside here is where I've expanded or copied across all of the contents from that 200 gig image. So we can see the different uh, files, uh, some of the emulators, and of course, all of the different ROMs and the config for them. So all of that is in here. And just make sure you expand all of the contents of your image inside that hyperspin folder and once you've done that you then need to install all of the emulators so fortunately all of them are actually included in the download in a folder called emulators so you'll see one for Mupin, one for uh, Yabba Sanshiro which is for the Sega Saturn now for RetroArch you do have to install a custom version and a link for that is on my website which is this thing here so make sure you install this version of RetroArch as the one that you get from the Play Store doesn't work properly with hyperspin so you install that version of RetroArch, you install all of the emulators you see here, all of these ones, and lastly you install Hyperspin from the Play Store. Now when you install that and open it up, it will look for that Hyperspin folder and all of the settings, all of the config, all of the artwork, all of that is already configured for you inside the Hyperspin folder. The only thing you need to do is just install these different emulators. And once you have installed those emulators, Hyperspin can then launch those for you and allow you to play all of those games. Now in terms of configuration for RetroArch, these are the different cores you need to download. So if you want to play MAME games, this is the one. If you want to play SNES games, this is the one and so on and so forth. So, and the last bit of configuration, like just tweaking the emulators, you can follow the steps here. So you can either read it from there or you can see the config process by watching Bandit's video. And I do recommend that you check out his channel and give that guy a sub because he really has done some phenomenal work with this particular image. That's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think that Bandit has done a phenomenal job with this image. Lots of you are asking for retro gaming on the Nvidia Shield. And I think with this special image, you guys are really gonna have lots of fun. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.